Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the journal entry required for retiring a fixed asset. So retiring is very similar to selling. The only difference is you're not getting anything back for getting rid of the asset. You're, you're again, crudely throwing it away is the best way to say it. Um, so retiring an asset involves removing the asset from the books without receiving anything and recording a loss for any book value that is remaining at that time. So notice here we have an example where we are getting rid of a piece of equipment that had a historical cost of 70000 We are getting rid of the accumulated depreciation of 50000 on that equipment. You do the math there, and that means that this equipment had a book value of 20000 or in other words, our balance sheet says this asset still has $20,000 worth of value. But if we're not getting anything in exchange for that asset, then that full 20000 simply becomes a loss on retirement. Losses on retirement are reported as other expenses on the income statement, the non-operating section of the income statement. All right, let's do an example. FlyerCore decides to sell a building with a historical cost of $559,000 and up-to-date accumulated depreciation of $225,000. After receiving no offers, Flyer Corps discovers that the reason no one wants to purchase the building is that it has structural integrity problems that would cost more to fix than the building is worth. In other words, it's not even worth it for someone to buy the building. As such, Flyer Corps decides to retire the building. Record the journal entry. So here we go. We are getting rid of a building on our books. And so um, a building has a debit balance, in this case, of 559000 So to get rid of that, we have to credit building. So credit building, 559. I know it's hard to tell if it's a credit until I get the debit in there, but that's my credit. I have to get rid of its related accumulated depreciation, which it says is up to date, um, of 225. Accumulated depreciation has a credit balance because it is a contra asset. So to get rid of that, I'm going to debit it. So accumulated depreciation, building to 25000 And I'm not getting anything in return for this building. So I need to figure out, well, what is its book value? If it's got a historical cost of 559 less accumulated depreciation of 225 then the book value is the difference between those two, or $334,000. And I am essentially throwing that entire book value away, which means I need to include a loss on retirement, $334,000. That loss on retirement, it is essentially an expense. That's why it's debited. And it will show up in the non-operating section of our income statement and reduce our net income. And that's really it. All retirements look the exact same way. Get rid of the asset, get rid of the accumulated depreciation. If there is any remaining book value, it's a loss. If there is no remaining book value, then you don't even have the loss to record. You just, you just stop at getting rid of the um, asset and its accumulated depreciation. So with that said, um, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.